Welcome to 7 Figure Dental Practice, a show that teaches you how to successfully build and thrive in a dental practice. Here's your host, Dr. Shaheen Safarian. This is Dr. Shaheen Safarian, and I wanted to welcome you to the fourth episode of the 7 Figure Dental Practice. And in this episode, I want to spend a few minutes just talking about what we kind of started discussing on the last episode. And that is basically for us to be able to discuss pricing with patients. Um, look, we're in, uh, as I've mentioned this many times before, we are business owners and we have to feel comfortable talking about um, treatment planning um, and finances with patients. I know there's a lot of consulting businesses or firms that really stress that the doctor completely stays away from talking to clients, talking to patients about treatment plan because we are the least trusted in the practice. But I challenge you to... Now, let, let's be clear. I'm not talking about talking all the time about treatment costs, treatment planning, and talking numbers with patients all the time. You certainly don't have the time to do that. But to completely shy away from that, I think is unrealistic. And the formula has to be that you're open to the idea and you're open to the concept of sitting down with a patient on the phone or in person um, in the office. Um, and we, you know, we can expand on this in detail. I mean, my last episode and this episode, it really could be a three-day seminar of just how you can manage these types of situations. However, being that we're trying to condense this in five minutes, all I'm trying to stress to you at this point is if you are that doctor who completely is away um, from discussing finances with patients, I don't necessarily think that's the proper model. I mean, I get it. You know, you, you know, the word has been used many times or the sentence that you are the least trusted person in the dental practice. But why? Why should you be the least trusted person in dental practice? I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, if you're in an environment where you're in the people's business and you're talking to patients and you're providing a service, why should you be the least trusted person? And with that said... Talk about finances. Talk about numbers. If you pick up the phone and somebody asks about pricing, don't shy away and say, oh, sorry, I don't talk about pricing. I'll have to talk to my office manager. Or same thing in office if somebody brings that up. You have to be comfortable talking about pricing. Now, there's a lot of strategies and a lot of um, viewpoints on how to talk about pricing. And again, as I mentioned, it could be a three-day seminar. But you can't just throw numbers at people when they're, when they're not ready for it. Um, and that's really important to understand. If there is absolutely no value in your business and in your team and in your services that's been created, you can't present finances. You can't present a number. You know, when you get on the phone and you talk, there's going to be times that people call you and call your business and ask, you know, what do you charge for a crown? And instead of just coming and say, I charge a thousand or I charge fifteen hundred or I charge twelve hundred, whatever that number is, I typically turn back to the patient and say, Why do you think you need a crown? And that creates and starts a conversation. Okay. And who knows whatever, you know, thought process they have. Oh, I went to another dentist and they said I had cracks on my tooth and you know, or I have cavities. I mean, who knows whatever the conversation is. But that starts the discussion. And with that conversation, now you can start developing a little bit of value, a little bit of a background on what the patient is looking for. And also the patient, you know, many times maybe they think that you call, they call and, you know, you say, oh, we charge a thousand. Like, okay, thanks. Bye. You know, they're looking for that quick, um, quick answer. And they realize that you're actually asking a question being curious and being interested in learning why they think they need a crown or a dental implant or a root canal or whatever the issue is. Um, and many times that creates an environment or an opportunity where, where you will have a two to five minute conversation with the patient and um, 
Many times I found that patients forget about the price and realize that, wow, you know, this doctor is like talking to me. He's cool. He's chill. He's giving me some great information. He's telling me things that I never thought about or whatever the situation is. Every phone call is going to be dynamic. Every phone call is going to be different. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is if you do answer the phone, there's, there's definitely going to be those people that are going to wonder, you know, what your prices are and what your services are. So don't just present that right away without some type of a conversation. And if it really come, if it really gets to a point where they're like, listen, I just want a price. You know, what is your crown cost? I give them a range, you know, and I give them a market range, right? I say, oh, I don't know. Depending on what kind of crown you want, it's $800 to $1,800. I mean, I don't know. I'm just throwing a number at you guys here right now, but that's what you do. You never really give them an exact number because um, that also is not fair to you or to your business to just present numbers. In either case, if anything this pod- with this podcast, my goal is just to kind of get you to think um, about this topic and about this discussion. You should not be the least trusted person in the practice and you should not feel uncomfortable talking uh, to people or patients on the phone or chair side about treatment plan and treatment costs. Thank you for the few minutes you spent with me uh, today, and I look forward to uh, seeing you again at the next episode. Thanks for listening to 7-Figure Dental Practice. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in to the next episode.